You want you want to be famous? You want to be on the camera? Oh, look at that gorgeous face, so beautiful. What's up, guys? Evil D here, and today I'm going for another ride. This time I'm actually going to go around this suburb down near the beach and show you guys some of the parks and stuff around here. But it's a bit dark right now, so I don't know if I'm going to get the best film quality. I've decided to do it later than usual because today it was boiling hot, and I really did not want to be out there getting sunburned because I'm white. I get sunburned like all hell. Now, first up, I need to refill my water bottles because I've noticed that when I go riding, I drink an insane amount of water. It's crazy. I'll go through like two bottles within an hour. Um, the reason I'm actually doing so much riding recently is one, I'm trying to lose weight. I've lost like four kilos since I started doing this. It's amazing. Like it's never happened to me before. Plus it probably helps that I stopped eating McDonald's and KFC, but you know what I mean. And the second thing is when I'm on course, I'm not going to have that much time to actually work. It's like four days a week. So I intend to do things like Uber Eats to one, stay fit and two, make some cash on the side. So let's fill these bad boys up. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, have a flow, baby. I know a lot of people aren't fans of Uber Eats because it's basically a ripoff for riders or drivers or whatever. You, you don't make that much money and they're a giant multinational, international corporation. It's actually quite good for me because I'll make a little bit of money, plus I'll be able to ride and it's going to be during hours when normally with my skill set, I can't find a job anyway. So it should work out quite nicely. Okay, so here goes nothing. We're on the same bike as before, but my father-in-law promises that he's actually repaired this now. Yeah, right, we'll see how that one goes but you know what let's give it a try I'll oh, check out my new fancy helmet it cost me like seven dollars it was like the cheapest helmet there okay let's do this <laughs> So we've just arrived at Banksia Beach, which is about, I think it's three kilometers from my house. Um, as you can see out here, the beach is quite empty at the moment. Hey, the moon's actually out. It's kind of cool. It looks really good. Oh wait, that's not the moon. That's a plane. <laughs> okay. Anyway, so you guys actually know why I kind of laughed at that. That is the international airport just there. You can see the whole thing. Um, so it's like directly opposite and you see planes coming in and out all the time. I don't know why I thought that was the moon, but anyway, down that way is just kind of like, a, I think it's like an RSL or something like that. I can ride along down that way, but it's only going to take me about 200 meters. However, if I go up that way, I can get about 200 meters and there's like a bike path that will take me down along the actual riverbeds and stuff like that. That's what we're going to go check out now. Just before I wrap this one up, for those who are Esperanto speakers, what is the difference between Plagio and Strando? Don't go and look it up in the dictionary. Just put what you think it is down in the description or down in the comments below. Okay, so it's getting a bit harder to see now. It's, um, it's not even really that dark, but this camera just does not work well at night. I don't even know if you can really hear me because it is windy as all hell out here. So basically I'm out on the jetty. You really can't see that. <laughs> I'm out on the jetty. No. <laughs> I'm so evil. No. So basically this is where my father-in-law loves to go fishing. I'll tell you more about it once I'm out of the wind. I'm in another spot because seriously right here it's so windy. Okay guys, so now that we're out here and we're on this jetty, it reminds me of something that happened to me about like, I think it was two weeks, maybe three weeks ago. Anyway, it's to do with my dad. Well, for clarity's sake, I'm just gonna point this out right now. It's actually my father-in-law. In Chinese culture, you call your father-in-law dad or it's insulting or some shit like that, I don't know. Anyway, it's my dad from now on. Okay, so I came home, I was pretty tired. I think I was out riding at the time or something like that. And I go straight into the kitchen because I was a bit thirsty and I wanted to grab a glass of water. So I reach over to the, the glass like um, holder rack thing or whatever. And it's to the right-hand side of the sink. I'm not really paying attention. I grab this glass and just as I wrap my hands around it, I hear this like scraping across metal type of thing. You know, have you guys ever seen like um, Freddy Krueger, how he's like scratching his claws across like the metal and you're like, oh shit, shit's about to get real. Well, I hear the sound and I like, what, what the fuck? And I look down and in the sink, which isn't that big and it's pretty close to me, okay, is this massive fucking crab and he's staring at me, this great big mud crab. He's looking at me like, I'm gonna tear your throat open. And he's like, shing, 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 scraping around trying to get me. And I was like, what the fuck? I almost slipped backwards and fell over because this guy's like trying to come a cuzzy, leap out Jaws style out of the sink to get me. And I was like, dude, what did I do? I'm just here for a drink of water. Then again, I would be a bit violent and ill temperament if someone had put me in the sink and left me there to wear out. So I'm just looking at this giant crab the sink going, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna go to another sink right now. You keep that sink, that, that sink's good for you. So I go away, you know, I have a shower, do a few other things. While I'm in the background, I hear shing, shing, shing. And I'm, and I'm sitting in the shower, I'm like, actually that sink, that's not, it's not that big of a sink, eh? Like, it's a pretty small sink when I think about it. He could probably, if he gets himself strategically right, pull himself out of the sink. And I'm, I'm starting, these thoughts are starting to come through my head. And then the door to my bathroom's like, 
opens a bit and I'm like, oh shit, is that the fucking crab coming to get me? Like, that can't be a fucking crab. Like, crabs don't, they're not revengeful, okay? They're just basic instinct animals. It's not the crab and the, the bathroom's on the other side of the house. Who would think like that? But like, the whole time I'm washing myself and I'm looking at it, there's no one else in this house. And that door's just sitting open. I'm just waiting for this little claw to come around the corner and go, dun dun. Dun, dun type of thing and I was like um yeah I better wrap the shower up pretty quick so I got out of the shower I come out and I'm like nah this, you're being an idiot Richard what are you it's just a crab but I walk over to the sink that fucking crab ain't there that fucking crab ain't in the sink anymore I'm like what the fuck where is this crab and I'm looking around at my feet going maybe he like he pulled himself out and he's just hiding in the corner in this house and there's no one in this house okay I'm looking around I'm going I have no idea where this crab is it's a fucking crab and it's about 30 centimeters in diameter there's not so many places where it can hide itself okay and I'm looking around the kitchen I'm walking around looking under the tables and stuff and then I'm, I'm going um yeah we got a situation here so I call my father-in-law and then I hear this ringing from the other room like just a silent ringing I'm like uh but why is his phone there it, it should be with him has this crab got him like is this revenge of the fucking crabs or something I walk in my father-in-law's like oh he was he was asleep on the bed the whole time I didn't even realize this and I was like oh okay okay and I'm like you know I asked my father-in-law yeah, um didn't you have a crab in the sink and he's like oh yeah yeah that thing's boiling now I was like oh fucking Jesus Christ I'm scared the shit out of myself turns out my father-in-law came back while I was having a shower, grabbed that little mofo and chucked him in a hot pot. Um, which I kind of feel sorry for him because that's a really violent death, but you know. Yeah, it's not good being a crab. Okay guys, so I'm back home now. I wanted to film more of the locations around here, but it's just too dark. I went to like different parks and it was just, it was pitch black. So, you know, that's the end of this video. I'm rooted with a capital D. If you've liked this video, like it, share it around, sub to the channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you all in the next video. And if you're not there, I'll find you in a, a park in the middle of the night. And I'll salute to you in ways you can't imagine.